Right, I'm last minute subbing to my old apprentice, Sound Kitty, one of the very few people I actually trust because I trained him on a large board change, three phase board change today. And his head's not in it. His, head's, his head is, he's fragile at the moment. Um, I texted him this morning saying, what, what do I need to bring? He was like, my head's frazzled. Um, so basically, I read between the lines and went, just load my van up with as much sundries as possible <laughs> so we can get it done. Friday board change as well. Large free phase board change on a Friday. So I've loaded up with my big crimper, loads of cutting tools, bits of Zebedee's, my uh, torque wrench, uh, bits of Unistrut, loads of torches, loads of bits of flexi conduit, uh, big plug-in lights, all my drills, galve spray, random SWA glands, big adaptable boxes, that's a Hensel one, loads of 30, 35 mil singles, 16 mil singles, 25 mil singles, some 10 mil twin and earth, test gear, basically, so we can smash it out and not have to go out. <laughs> and of course, a bit of PVC trunking, just as some kind of header thing. Because I don't, I don't know what we're going into. <laughs> I have no idea. Literally, it was organised eight o'clock last night. So um, yeah, let's. Uh... <laughs> and that's what I like sometimes about being an electrician is being able to figure things out on the fly, um, working out solutions to problems and getting around things in, in a good way. You know, I really like that aspect of it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. To be honest, I'm buzzing. <laughs> Got a Hager three-phase board going in. I'm just assembling the buzz bar. Buzz bar and the uh, incomer. Uh, various size fuses. Three-phase and single-phase. Got myself set up. So I've got a light set up. This is the Luciku light. Absolutely. It's really, really good. It's a mains one. So there is some mains in the site. So we haven't got, a, you know, we haven't got we're not plunged completely into darkness. And I think... We haven't probably discussed it yet. We've just been chatting about life and kids, etc. I think we're combining these two boards into one. That's what I think we're doing. We'll see how we can polish up this turd. <laughs> so we've isolated this whole this whole arrangement here from this isolator, um, and it's in there and it's locked off in there. So all this is staying. I think the plan is to perhaps remove all this. It's all unused. And we're amalgamating these two consumer units into one. But a lot of this one is lighting via contactors, so I need to figure out, I have a headache and figure out what's what. And it's going to be extended and into a new Hager board. I'll probably do the difficult bit, the headache bit. And in this circuit, it's only, it's in this, in this fuse board, it's only that circuit that's staying, which feeds another board somewhere. So um i'm also going to reduce these fuses to 125 i think they're 200s at the moment so 125s i think that was the time 10 o'clock so <sighs> i've had a cup of tea i'll turn the radio on we've got temporary lights going let's just get stuck into it Right, completely stripped out. And my mate's stripped out um, the circuit. That only, the only circuit that needs to be kept in there. So that's just gonna come off the wall now. Cut all those armors, they're all unused, disused circuits. All of mine were basically joins. It's basically all for the lighting contactors. So there's only two supplies being, or one, two, three supplies being used. <laughs> they are all single phase supplies, but just running the colors. But it's all basically just joins for the lighting. So I'm gonna take this off the wall and then we'll figure out how we're gonna mount the new one and what arrangement. But yeah, what's the time now? 10.52. Um, and I took off this isolator just here, just to make some room. I think I'm gonna do a big hole in the side of this trunk in. I reckon I'll mount the board like that. Do a big hole in there. And then down here, maybe, 
I, I won't slot it because I need the height of this board to meet this trunking. So I'll probably keep re-drill these 32 mil, 40 mil holes into the bottom to bring our mains into the bottom of the ice layer. Because there's no cables coming into the bottom, but I'll do both holes. And then basically all these go back in there. And then there's just a load of joints. I don't know whether I'll do it in a box next to the board or whether I'll do it in the board. Right, unfortunately, I feel it's going to be a bit of an anticlimax because I've got to go pick up the kids at half past two. So I'm going to stay here. My mate's just ordering some lunch now. It's quarter to 12. So I'm going to get as much as I can done and then leave it with him. I made nuts and bolts to nut and bolt. Yeah, onto this strut at the top there, two solid fixings up there, and then I'll use the, the strength of the bushes and couplers here. We'll hold it on the bottom half. Right, 12.20, I've got the mains in, got the earth, I just need to get a crimp lug for the earth. Mains in, neutral in. I've got to disconnect all these from the buzz bar. These are the two supplies that came out of the buzz bar chamber. So disconnect that one, disconnect that one. Fucking lunch is here. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Right, I just had the quickest lunch. My mate sorted me out with a delicious dirty burger. It almost tastes like McDonald's if they used actual real ingredients. <laughs> now I might actually, there's only three sets of connections I need to do. It's hard to show you there. Three sets of connections. One, two. There's a third one here somewhere. Oh, in fact, it's only two. Sorry. Oh, no, three. Yeah, three. So I'm tempted just to wager them up. I've obviously dress this all in nicely, but I'm tempted to just wager them in the board rather than doing a whole box just for the sake of three connections. So, um, yeah. Let's get all these fuses in, get the feeds in, and then dress all this and try and make this, try and lipstick on a pig this. So <clears throat> we did an EICR on this place a few weeks ago. This is just high bay lighting. So hence why they're not RCBOs, they're just MCBs, uh, 10 amp MCBs. Um, but the board needed upgrading because to allow for other things because they've done some more work we've done some work in the main panel which we which we needed to relocate a couple of supplies of other boards to make room for the new supplies that we had to put in for other areas of the building hence why this one has to be upgraded so we incorporate a few um, as part of the ESR remedial work and the future proofing of the installation there's, there's, there's more work going on here um, so that's why we're changing this one
Right, where are we at? Ooh. Quarter to two, so I've got to start packing up in about 15 minutes. You can see, mains is in. A little bit of neatening up to do, sure, a little bit of tidying up. But at least my mate in, you, know, you can carry on now. I'm just gonna wire up the contactors in here. So there's a couple of contactors for, a couple of cables for the contactors. I've drilled a stuff and then. They were previously wired it through the fuse board and then back out again and then up into here. So I'm gonna drop them straight into there. Live feed and then there's two contactor A1 feeds on these two top and bottom contactors. There and there. Um, get the lid back on, but there's loads of like finishing touches to do. But that's pretty much almost done. So I get this, all the cables. I've done all the joins in the end up there. Saved on another big box. There's only six six sets up there. There's a uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, nine nine way goes. And I bet that is basically out of the contactor. The switch lines out of the contactor comes in and then they've then supplied all the high bay line into an inert. So that's basically a switch line. It comes in from the board, feeds the contact and then comes out on these. And then it just it looks like later additions, basically. Probably originally done in singles and then they've added on a load of new ones. Two and a half as well, because I think it's, they're quite long runs. They go, for, like I said, high bay lighting. Um, yeah, not bad for a Friday, Friday what? Last minute Friday drop. Put, I'll put the cover on as well, um, get these in, and um, then I actually got to go. So there'll be no final product, unfortunately, <laughs> anti-climax, but nice little decent Friday job. Still got to put a crimp lug on that. A couple of extra holes for future circuits coming in here. I think there's a couple of old things in this switch cupboard that they want to load up onto here, a couple of sockets and things. Um, so my mate will power back up and do some testing, do some tightening up and do some labeling, but I'll be gone. Subby life. Woohoo! Can we reach that as the glass? Can we come into the outside? Well, can we reach in there? Go in there and up there? Fucking tight, isn't it? Like what? Cut that cable tie off. Yeah. Gain some slack there. Right, that's those two. Right, that's the two contactors wired back in. Close up the grommet there. Fuck me, what did they put these on with? Fucking double R blokes back in the day, wasn't it? <laughs> double R blokes. Double R Absolutely. Blokes. Nothing like the snowflakes today. That might be my 20, yeah. In fact, yeah, it probably is my 20. Ooh, nice and tight. I'm tightening them up to three and a half. I've done it on the top. You can hear, it's set to three and a half. Can't quite tell on the Weeha. It's three, four and three, six. So I've just gone in the middle of the two. Nice. Nice. These are 35 mil insulated and sheathed cables. Brown. Not double insulated as people say, it's insulated and sheathed. There's the brown. <sighs> Grey. Quarter past two on a Friday. I've got to go and pick up the kids. So you're not going to see the end result. But I've got the mains in. My mate's got to put the cover on. It's all talked up. Put this cover on here, test it all, retest it, and put the cover on. So he's got a couple more hours' work. Put all the lid on and tidy up because it's a state in here. <laughs> yeah. Let's go home. Whew. 
Well, that was the quickest I've moved all day loading my gear into the van. <laughs> it is half past two. I've got to pick all three kids up at three o'clock, so I've got half an hour to race back. Oh, I said I'd get them. I said I'd get them. Come on, come on. I'll be able to do it. I'll be able to do it. Come on. 